Hi guys, we'll have a look at the bridge by D for Vidi or David and um, I think uh, I'll be covering the one which he uh, featured with Love and all. So let me know what other song you want to learn. By the way, I've covered almost every song by David. So check it out. I'll just make a playlist today right now after I make this video. I'll make a playlist. There will be every video so you guys can choose which song you want to learn by David. Now this song we have a lovely guitar going on. By the way, let's come to the tuning. It's a drop D tuning. One of the most easiest and the common, common tuning often used in the song. Drop D tuning. What we do is we just tune the top string to a whole step down which is a low D. So that's the only thing you need to do for drop D tuning. Tune the top E string to a low D. So that matches with the sound. Just off to the bar. Now uh, we'll have a look at the intro riff then I'll show you guys a bit of strumming for the chorus. So for the riff, I have 2nd fret on the D string, ring finger on 3rd fret of the A, middle finger on the top string 3rd fret. So I'll go E, A, D, E, A, D, that's it. Next time we'll do this, we'll play open E, open A, 3rd fret on A, again open E, open A, 3rd fret on A. So we are repeating same phrase twice. So we got After that I'll do this. I'll play open A, 3 on A, 2 on D. Again open A, 3 on A, 2 on D. And then I'll come over here and I'll do this. For this part, I just kind of like use my index and hit the E string as well as the E string, the top two strings, fifth fret. So I'll hit the E string, then the E string, and then the fifth fret, and sorry, then the seventh fret of the E string. So we got five, five, seven, five, five, seven. Now I'll be referring the top string as E string and not as a D string. Why should I name it to the D string? It's a E, but it produces the note of a D. So we got. That's it. Now let's learn that chorus strumming. I'll just take my index. I'll just take my index and I will try to hit the top three strings. We'll mute the bottom three strings, but we'll hit the top three strings. So I'll place it on the third frets of E, A, D, and I'll also palm mute, which is having a palm, this part, rested just above the bridge of the guitar over here. I'll get a very soft sound. You see that the difference without palm mating and with palm mating. And if you do palm reading wrong, it sounds like this. You don't want, don't want this. You want this. So, uh, third frets, I'll go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'm just going for eight dance strokes. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then play open. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Come to seventh fret of E, A, D, same thing. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then fifth frets of E A D. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So we got. Seven, seven, seven. Fa, fa, fa. Now. Uh, we'll have a look at the riff which comes just after we finish up with the chorus. We have 8th fret on B, 10th fret on B, so pam pam, rest and then we'll play G string 9th fret, rest and then I'll play 9, 10, 9 on G. Now I'll do this. I'll do a slide from 7 to 9 on G and then maybe I'll just go back down to 7th fret, so pam pam. Then I'll play D10, then G7. So we got. So 
sorry, from the beginning. Then again, A10 on B. Then we'll do this. I'll play G9 and then I'll end it with D10. And that's the rip so we got. Guys, there you have it. That's a whole song. Uh, let me know what other song you want to learn by David. We are very close to 20k by the way guys. So do subscribe. I got some cool news. Just when we hit 20k, I'll be announcing it. So I'll see you guys back in the next video. Bye.